Hi, welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Count Syrian. Welcome back, my loves. Welcome to your love reading for the month of December, my loves. Welcome back. We're here checking back in in another three days here to check in to see where the energies have progressed here from your last reading, the last three days, all right? Definitely, if you're new here again, welcome, my loves. Hit the notification bell so that way you'll be aware every three days when your readings do come out. All right, Count Syrian, all right? We're going to check in first with your higher self and see what messages spirit, your angels, and your ancestors have for you. And then stick around, Count Syrian. We're going to shift the energies and see how your person and the energies that are around you, how they feel towards you with the tarot deck here. All right. Now, the reading today, Count Syrian, may resonate for sun, moon, rising, Venus, north, and south node placements. All right. And also, cross watchers. Welcome, my loves. You are welcome here as well. All right, so let's see what messages we have for the kings and queens, all right? Let's see what messages we have for the god and goddesses, for the divine feminine and divine masculine, for the water sign source. What's the messages? What do their higher selves need to know for ending the month of December here and going into a new cycle, a new year of 2022? What's the messages, angels, ancestors? What do Count Syrian need to know? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North and South Node Placement Source. Wow, we have a couple of cards here, Count Siren. We have you and your loved ones are safe. Wow, New Moon and Count Syrian. Oh, that's beautiful, my love. So some of you all was concerned in regards to your loved ones, in regards to your family, right? Spirit, your higher self, your angels, your ancestors, you're saying no worries, my loves. You are protected, all right? So if you were concerned, there's your answer, all right? If you were having any worries, right? No need to worry, counselor, for whoever clicked on that video, all right? You are safe and your loved ones, all right? Last card here we have, show the world the real you. Wow, counselor. So your higher self, your angels, your ancestors wanted you to step out of that shell, all right? Show the world the real you, Count Siren, all right? We need you. We need to know and see and understand what that energy that you have or whatever this is referencing to, how you do it, all right? Because only you, Count Sirens, can be the one to pursue whatever this is, all right? So I feel like your angels, your ancestors have been giving you this nudge, have been requesting for you to follow your intuition here, all right? right? This is in regards to love. A particular person here counseling or whatever this is simply that you are manifesting here okay your ancestors want you to know to show the world the real you don't be afraid to okay be who you are and be your authentic self because that's what the world needs all right wow beautiful thank you source angels ancestors so those are messages from your higher self count Syrian. all right so now again we're going to shift the energies here and see how the energies around you feel how this particular person feel towards you during this time count Syrian. all right and let's just see what are what is crossing their mind in regards to my count Syrian, in regards to the kings and the queens how does this person feel towards Count Syrian spirit? How does that person feel during this time? What is the thoughts that is running across their mind, Source? Wow, we have, do you remember the time? All right, that's the energy I'm getting from this card of the song that literally just played through here. So that song may be very significant for someone. That song was by Michael Jackson, Count Syrian. All right, do you remember the time that we first met? All right, so this person is doing a lot of reminiscing, okay? This is someone, for some of you all, that you're not even aware of that you met this person your last, your last past life, all right? Wow, beautiful. And this person is asking you now, do you remember me? All right, do you remember what we did together? All right, so this person is asking you this question. They're thinking about asking you this question I'm getting, all right? They're wanting to know, do you remember what you and I did together, what you and I said, 
All right, is what I'm picking up here intuitively here. Wow, what else, Source? What else can we get from this energy in regards to counseling? How does this person, Source, how does this significant other, some of you are your spouse, all right? How does they feel towards you during this time? Wow, we have, I want to make love. Oh my goodness, Cancerian, okay? This person's doing a lot of fantasizing about you right now, all right? And this is why they're asking, do you remember, all right? Do you remember the time, all right, when we first met? Wow, that song is very significant for some of you. That person may think about you when they hear this song, or this may be their favorite song or your favorite song, Cancerian, okay? Or they're just, again, very much in the fantasized energy in regards to you, all right? Last card here we have, let's have this talk. I'm done. Wow, Cancerian, okay? This person is really, 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 I'm getting really, really, ready to have this talk this time okay wow so this is a situation where this person and you may have had this talk once before all right and things may didn't work out as you expected i'm hearing here all right counselor and this person is really ready to set things straight with you i'm getting here wow okay and they're wanting to again of course be very in this energy of connecting with you they miss that i'm hearing as well so they miss having this connection with you they miss being around in your energy all right and they're wanting to know do you remember okay do you remember what we did together all right i want to make love to you and let's have this talk wow and at the bottom of the deck here comes here we have i'm looking for you Wow, so some of you all are really much at a distance from this person, Cancer, all right? And this person has been looking everywhere from you, all right? So, wow, they are definitely looking for you, all right? They may be asking family members, your friends, people who you used to hang out with, all right? You may have removed yourself from this person and their energy. You may have removed yourself from your social media websites, and they're looking for you, okay? I'm getting here, okay? Because they want to know, do you remember what we did together okay they're ready again to put whatever they have caused or done towards you they're ready to put it to an end all right and they're ready to have this conversation they're ready to talk all right they're ready to have that talk all right wow so let's see here let's see what other information we can get in regards to this energy here or this person here here for you concern okay wow beautiful and if the reading has resonated also concern with your spirit and your higher self don't forget to like all right hit that big fat thumbs up show spirit some love cancer and arise and welcome to the again ones that are new here all right hit that notification bell my love subscribe be a part of family all right, where well, we love and we evolve, Cancerian, and definitely, my loves, we shall chit chat soon. Okay, let's definitely get into this energy here, Cancerian. Let's see what is this all about. What is this talk about here? Wow, we have the will of fortune, divine energy here. I really feel like the divine is really assisting you and your person in regards to this situation here, Cancerian. Okay, this is referencing to change. All right, things working out in your favor, luck being handed to you, luck, fortunate is being welcomed here and being welcomed on your side. All right, beautiful. So I feel like this is a situation where you feel like you did not see it changing, you did not see it going anywhere. Counselor, and I'm getting here. Definitely luck is on your side because this is definitely a situation here that's going to change. I'm hearing and it's going to change for the better here. Wow, Cancer. Let's see what else we can get out in regards to this energy here. Source, angels, ancestors. What is this situation in regards to... What is this situation in regards to... In regards to this conversation, in regards to this talk here. Wow, we have the Ten of Swords coming out here for you, Cancer. Okay? Some of you are this person may have air placements in their chart. Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius here. All right, but this is definitely a situation where you and this person has realized that there has been a lot of pain caused in this situation, a lot of hurt in regards to this relationship, in regards to things that they may have done or said behind your back, the way they may have portrayed you here, Cancer, okay? This is definitely a situation, believe it or not, with the Wheel of Fortune coming out here, it's going to change, all right? It's going to change for the better. Time is going to bring back healing for you. 
and this person I feel and it's going to give you both a different perspective here all right because I know that some of y'all may having to understand that you're having to remove yourself again from this person some of y'all this is simply your spouse all right someone that you've had kids with and a family with and it's why you are concerned if you and your loved ones are going to be safe during this transition all right and spirit your higher self is saying yes you are protected, okay? But definitely understand that things are working out. They may not seem that way right now, Cancer, or vice versa. Your person is made feeling this way because of what has been caused in their life, all right? But change is definitely on the way, all right, with the Wheel of Fortune here. So let's get one more card here, Cancer, and to finish your energy here. Source Angels Ancestors in regards to Cancer and in this situation. What do Cancer need to take away from this situation? Source, angels, ancestors, what do their higher self need to know? Wow, we have two cards come out here. We have the two of ones. Definitely, you have the world in your hands, Cancer, all right? You have your free will is what the divine is stating here, okay? And it's up to you, all right? You have been through this cycle, all right? It has ended for you. You have your free will. You understood this person. You understood this relationship. You now have a different perspective, you now have learned the lessons. You've understand the trials and errors in your life, Cancer. And Spirit is saying now you have the opportunity to go and get what you are deserving of. All right. And just overall, what you have experienced in between this person and this relationship. Right. And now you have that decision to make. All right. And some of y'all may be a little indecisive. All right. When it comes to the two of swords and also guarding yourself. Right, because you've been hurt, so it's definitely understanding, all right, and vice versa. This person really guarding themselves, really in the energy of making a decision here, but making sure they're making the right decision here because they're concerned in regards to their loved ones. I feel like you both are in regards to what have again transpired between you two, and for some, you are in regards to a separation here, and now you're needing to understand, you know, just how to move forward with being you right being your authentic self now all right and that's going to be a beautiful stage a beautiful way to start out a new beginning a new cycle okay because again things are going to work out in your favor here with the wheel of fortune so beautiful cancer i hope the reading has resonated with who it needed to resonate with and if so don't forget to like subscribe hit the notification bell so that way you can be notified for when your reading comes out Hang out with me. I do go live every other night. Cancerian, you're welcome to ask one free question in regards to what it is that you're wanting to know spiritually, what spiritual advice you need, or what questions you have in regards to this person, all right? You're more than welcome to hang out with me there. You can ask me one free question. All that information is down below in the video here. You can click on that video and set that reminder and hang out with me and ask your free question there. And I'll talk to you soon, Cancer, and you take care of yourself. I love you. Bye-bye.